<clears throat> so what happened was we were doing a live stream just now and I was answering all your questions and I was in the middle of saying something and then somebody called me, some phone number, and I hit like get rid of or dismiss, but everything was frozen. <clears throat> okay, somebody called in, that's my fault. I forgot to put it on do not disturb. So when they called in and I, I hit um, the red button, which is dismiss, instead of the green button, which is answer, it froze. I don't know, it froze. Normally if I, if I call in and I forget, I hit dismiss, it goes away. I come back, life is normal as usual, but yeah, so I just put my phone on do not disturb. So who's calling me on a Sunday morning anyway? What telemarketer thinks they should be calling me on a Sunday morning? Okay, uh, Blake is back. So now the hour starts over again. <laughs> Don't you guys have something better to do with your Sunday mornings? <laughs> <laughs> oh, vote, vote, let's vote. How many of you guys um, live in Texas or live near Fort Worth, Texas? Maybe you saw my Instagram post that I was asking who lives near Fort Worth, Texas. Any of you, any of you guys on right now live near Fort Worth, Texas? Lily's telling us the Chinese diet is heavy in pork. <clears throat> it's not the healthiest thing in the planet. Do you know the Bible actually tells us in the Old Testament not to even eat pork? It's not very healthy. It's not healthy at all, actually. You know what's interesting? You guys might not know this. There was um, this atheist guy, and he was trying to disprove, disprove uh, like all the dietary laws in the Bible. And um, <laughs> he went to try to disprove, you know, because the Bible talks about don't eat pork, don't eat shellfish, don't eat da 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 da. Okay, you're in New Mexico. Great. So I'm going to. Texas the end of this month to be interviewed on a new TV pilot. Okay, so this guy tried to disprove all the stuff written in the Bible as law, like, and <laughs> turns out through science, they discovered everything the Bible says, tells you not to eat is actually bad for you. Who would have thunk? <laughs> Who would have thunk? So now I know some people will argue that Peter, when the Lord showed him these animals are not unclean to eat, um, they will argue, well, the Lord told Peter it's okay to eat pork. And that wasn't, the, that wasn't the point of that story at all. The point of that story was Jesus was telling them it was okay to preach to the Gentiles. Because Jews used to think Gentiles were unclean. They wouldn't associate with them. They thought the message of God was only for them, was only for the Jews, was only for the Israelites. So, cool, Blake. Um, so, so thank you, Angela. You're so sweet. Um, so they, they had to, God had to show him through that metaphor or that visual when he said, go kill and eat, you know, and Peter's like, I have never, I have never eaten pork in my life. I would never. And the point wasn't like God saying, yeah, go eat pork now. He was saying that these people are not unclean, that the message of God and the message of salvation is not only for the Jew anymore. The Jews had rejected Jesus and he decided to share the message also with the Gentiles, that God was for everyone, not just the Jewish people anymore. That's what happened in the New Testament, that um, everyone was, e oh, Elena, you are so sweet. Thank you, I really appreciate it. So it's, it's for everyone, the message is for everyone. I don't wanna get off track. Um, okay, do you realize sausages are made of soy protein and pork? Um, I didn't know that. Uh, I, I mean, you never know what's in a sausage, right? Have you heard the song, A Jawin? I don't think so. Oh, thank you, Frank. I, you know, I don't think I am, but I think I, I must retain a lot of things that I read. I didn't think I had that great of a memory, but 
Look who's awake. Yes, Blake, I go let. Oh, hi, sweetie pie. You stole Timmy's, you stole Timmy's Boris? Do you want to say hi? Hi, guys. Oh, thank you, Roman. Do you want to say hi? Oh, good morning. Look at this messy bedhead. Say good morning. Good morning. How are you? How are you? I'm Elijah. I'm Elijah. And I think you're awesome. You don't know that word? Say, you're the best. <laughs> Say, God loves you. I love you. He thinks you're great. Yeah, God thinks you're great. Say thank you. Thank you. For coming. For coming. Say say hi, Michael. Say hi, boys. He means he. Hey, Mona. Oh, thank you. Uh, Brittany says hi. Okay, so... Good morning. He wants to chat. He wants to chat? He needs a bath. Look at his mug. Dirty, dirty mug. Okay, what kind of character will Cato be playing in the upcoming video when he's not Mikey? Well, he starts out as a bully, but then he learns his lesson. I should not be giving away the plot. So sorry. But yeah, I guess you kind of, kind of know that happens sometimes in the Darman video. Sometimes the bully learns their lessons. Sometimes they don't, sometimes they do. Uh, when did you wake up? I slept late today. Thank God I slept late today. I slept till like seven. It was almost, it was almost seven o'clock when I got up. That is late for me. So thank God I've been, I've been needing to catch up on my sleep. My two-year-old cousin has stick straight hair. I've always wanted to ask, do you have a normal time you fall asleep? I try to, I try to get to bed before 11. And I usually wake up between 5 and 6.30. But I've been wanting to get more sleep. I think I need it. Champy is my special dog. Oh, I can see that's a, your name. What is your Christmas shopping? You know, I kind of stopped buying Christmas presents. I mean, we used to buy for everybody in the family, and then we switched to just buying for like the young nieces and nephews. And then uh, now, now I just buy for my own kids. I don't know. Um, sometimes I send my nieces, just send them money. Um, they would rather have that now at their age. Um, hey, it's cutesy fan XOX. Happy Sunday. All right, so type in your questions that I did not get to earlier or on the previous live stream. Lenore, Austria is the Spanish princess of Spain. My friend Aldi doesn't like the Darman vids where the bullies don't get their karma. Okay. Uh, he, where they don't get their karma, though he makes fun of that. Well, in life, we don't always see the karma happen on earth. Sometimes it happens after. Um, how is Timmy adjusting to homeschooling? He likes it for the most part, but I have to not let him play video games in the morning before school. We usually start school like at nine, but if he gets on the, if he gets on the computer, like between seven, eight and nine, it's hard to get him off and get his brain switched over to school mode. So I just have to hide. What do you have there? Snack. You got a snack? I'm You're hungry. You're hungry? And I have some grapes for you in the, li in the living room. I washed some grapes for you. You want these veggie straws? Yes. Okay. Why don't you go have some grapes with your veggie straws? Um, the first video I saw you in was Evil Foster Mom. Oh, that's one of my favorites. If you watched my video on here called the eight, my fav eight favorite Darman videos, that one is listed. Did you see the recent video where Pretty Girl Uses Nerd for Money? I haven't seen that one yet. I need to see that one. I usually catch up on all the videos on Sunday. Um, but I watched two that came out this week. I just didn't watch the next two. Um, when did you join Darman? I think my first video was October of 2018. Thank you, Amber. You look pretty as always. Thank you. What are your plans for the future? Will you be working with Shantae again? I worked with Shantae this week on the one with Kato, and I hadn't seen her since I accused her son of doing drugs in that one video. 
My son will also be homeschooled senior year because the school wants you to wear a muzzle eight hours a day and he has a medical exemption. The school doesn't care. That's awful. I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, I mean, they've done, you've seen so many studies on that about the lack of oxygen. Uh, one time we were on set when masks were mandatory and one of the crew people almost fainted and passed out. <sighs> so eight hours a day without sufficient oxygen and breathing in your own waste? What is it? Is it, is it called... What do you breathe out? Is that carbon dioxide or carb? I think it's carbon dioxide. Breathing in your own carbon dioxide, not getting oxygen. It's not healthy. I mean, we have to put them on to run into the store and stuff, but eight hours a day with not good oxygen. I mean, I can see why you're doing that. His health is vitally important, especially with a medical exemption. Um, thank you, GI13. How do you cope with the uh, depression like you want to live. How do you cope with depression? Oh, that is honestly a great big question. And uh, it's carbon dioxide. Can you give me more details on uh, like how you're feeling and what you're de dealing with? Because that's a big open wide subject and I could talk on it for 10 minutes and you'd be like, that's not what I'm talking about. So give me some more details. Um, you can also, if you guys have like a really complicated question that I won't be able to answer in like a minute, you can inbox me, um, send me a direct message on Instagram. And lately, um, I've done it three times now. Uh, Orly is the first person I did it for. Um, I have some other people that have sent me specific questions. And... I recently did a, uh, two more videos answering email and direct message questions. So I'm not saying whose videos, whose videos is whose or whose question is asking what, but um, if you have a question that you I don't that's like needs a more that needs like a 10 minute or 15 minute answer, um, I won't say who you are in the video. I won't say I'm just gonna say I got this question. And, and I'll go through trying to answer it for you the best I can. As you guys know, I'm not a therapist. I'm not a counselor. I'm not trained in saying the right things. I'm just giving you my opinion. And some people think it's helpful. <laughs> so that's, that, that, I'm just prefacing that like I don't have all the answers. Um, but I am coming from a place of caring and compassion and having gone through some, some similar things, or even if I haven't gone through similar things, I've felt similar ways. I have may not have de dealt with a direct circumstance you're dealing with, but that circumstance has led you to feel a certain way about yourself, to feel a certain way about your future, to feel a certain way about people. And that's the beauty of just humanity, is we've all felt loved, We've all felt hated. We've all felt like we fit in. We've all felt like we're left out. Well, honestly, maybe not all that's true. I've never felt like I fit in. <laughs> so, but we, but the point is we've all had the array of human emotions. We've all been maybe envious of someone at some point in our life. We've all been betrayed. We've all been trampled on. We've all been used. The point is we've all dealt with these human emotions um, oh, you got a, oh, that's so scary. Oh, the big T-Rex is eating the baby T-Rex? Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Uh, Angela said, you saved me from giving up on me. Um, Vya says, have you ever been peer pressured into making bad decisions before? Hello. It's called high school. Heck yeah. <laughs> on average, how long does it take to make a video? I'm assuming you're talking about, yeah, the Darman videos. That can take anywhere from one day to three or four days, depending on how long the script is. Uh, oh, she's crying over her dog dying. I'm so sorry. Hello, T-Rex is evil. Oh, how tall is Kato? Um, he's only 11, but he's probably close to five feet if he isn't already five feet tall he's bigger than 
He's bigger than Timmy. He's he he weighs like twenty five pounds more than Timmy, and Timmy's thirteen. So he's a big he's a big boy. He's not overweight or anything. He's just like solid. Have you started Christmas shopping? No, I haven't even thought about Christmas yet. Um, how's Elijah doing? He's doing good. How did you come onto the Darman videos? Um, I got I auditioned for them. I'm five four and a half. I auditioned for them. Oh, your dog didn't die. So, okay, somebody's dog died. Sorry, I got you mixed up. Somebody's dog died, and they mentioned it earlier today in the other live stream. Do you like the holiday season? Sometimes. I guess it's sometimes good to like sit back and reset and take some time off your regular work schedule and see for friends and family. Nelson says, Catherine, what do you generally think of school math that's probably not going to be used in real life? I kind of think it's a waste of time, to be honest. I don't think I use... I don't think I use really any math that I learned in school. I guess I'm adding and subtracting and division. I think that's the only three math things that I still use in real life. Did you do two lives today? Yes, because I normally only do one for an hour, but a call came and interrupted it and then it froze. So I had to like get back on so I could give you guys that full hour. Is Timothy going to school tomorrow Monday? No, because it's a holiday here in the United States. It's called Labor Day. Jane the Shy Gaming says, I should get a lot more help, but I nearly did something harmful to myself. Why is being 13 so hard? Yeah, being a teenager is really hard. Please don't hurt yourself just because it's hard. You know, if you want to inbox me and tell me what's going on, you can if you don't feel comfortable saying it here. I weigh 200 pounds. How much does Cato weigh? He weighs about 110. Yeah. Two years over full lockdown. Matt is 14. Do you have any advice for people who are starting school at a new school? You know what? Be confident in who you are. Be confident. Matt says she weighs 117. Be confident in who you are because if you walk into that school feeling sh feeling nervous, feeling shy, feeling uncertain, much so having your head down, um, they will eat you up alive. They will eat you alive. They will see you. They will spot you. The bullies with their... They will hone in on you. They will see that you're an easy target. Don't be that easy target. Okay, I don't know the school name you're talking about. I told you that when I answered you back. On Instagram, you want to know what schools are best for science out here? I don't know. I told you that. I told you to Google it. I like to told you that twice. Google best schools for science in Los Angeles, if that's where you want to go. I told you I didn't go to college. I can't recommend one. Yeah. I didn't go. Do not let them see you sweat. Do not let them see you nervous. You remember Joshua and Caleb in the Old Testament when they went to go spy at the promised land? Ten of the spies came back with a bad report. This is related to your starting the new school. Trust me, it is. Hang with me for this. Ten of the spies came back saying, oh no, we can't overcome them. We can't overtake them. We're like, we're like grasshoppers. They're giants. We're like grasshoppers to them. And, and what happened? You know what happened? When they went back in to fight the giants, the giant said to them, I'm going to be a giant. You are like a grasshopper. We will defeat you. <laughs> I don't know if that's how it went. But here's the crazy thing. They had the grasshopper mentality. They thought they were little lowly bugs that were going to be squashed. They didn't say that to the giants. They thought that how they walked, how they moved, how they projected themselves, their fear. The giants picked up on it. The giants picked up on the fact that they thought they were grasshoppers and they saw them as grasshoppers. How are... Blake said I like your giant voice. I was just getting silly today. They picked up on them not feeling good about themselves and we do the same thing. Have you guys seen the research the study on posture, 
There are certain postures you can do that make you feel strong, that make you feel powerful, that make you feel like, Ugh. and there's other postures that make you feel down, that make you feel depressed. You guys Google this, there's so many studies on this. If you stand, you know, if you do like the Wonder Woman pose, I'm gonna put the chair, this is the Wonder Woman pose. Remember Wonder Woman? <laughs> she had on those braces. If you stand with your hands on your hips and your shoulders back, that's the Wonder Woman pose. If you do that for two minutes a day, that will change um, how you feel about yourself. Guys, if you're not doing the, the right posture, it can actually affect your hormone levels and your confidence levels. So whenever you're feeling like, uh, you know how when you get in a slump, you slump? So if you're walking into school like, oh, you need to walk into school with your shoulders back. You need to walk in there like you own the place. You need to walk in there fully, not, not egotistical, but fully confident in who you are. You need to walk in there like, this is my school now. Nobody can say anything to me. I don't care if you've been going here for four years. This is my school now. No one's going to mess with me. You need to be confident in who you are. I needed to do that, but I didn't know. I didn't know what I know now. So go study the what body, the body um, posturing and all that, because there's certain things you can do with your body that that not that will mentally make you feel powerful and on top of it, and there's body postures that will make you feel weak and it has an effect on your psychology as well as your physiology. And it it can the it can produce more cortisol back to the cortisol if you have bad posture do you know have you studied the lobsters lobsters you know who becomes you know top dog alpha male lobsters you know they walk around doing this okay those lobsters they so it's not just human race they've studied this in animals i guess it's where they get like the alpha thing the animals the the lobsters who put themselves up the tallest and do their like little clappers with their hands, the biggest, the loudest. They've actually like, well, sorry, but they dissected them for science. They dissect them. They find out the the head lobsters, the main lobsters that are the, the ones that are like the leader of the lobsters. <laughs> they have more, um, is it testosterone? Don't quote me on this. More testosterone and less cortisol than the lobsters that are walking around like, ooh, am I a good enough lobster? I don't know if I can get that hot female lobster. But the ones walking around like, yeah, I'm the baddest lobster that there is. They <laughs> Today is a funny live stream, I'm sorry. But you guys need to know this because how you carry yourself, how you walk into a room, tells people how they can treat you. It tells people <laughs> how they can treat you. Should I become a voiceover artist? <laughs> that lobster and giant were not the best. Um, what do you got there? Oh, you want, oh, I, I can deal with this. A fig apple cinnamon bar, is this okay? Should I give this to him? It's the first time you're not asking for candy or chips, so yeah, we. So walk into the room like you know who you are, like you are important. And when you walk into the room like you know who you are and you're important, it's gonna be a lot less likely for people to mess with you, right? Are you going to be in more Darman videos? I haven't seen you in them recently. I know they didn't call me for a couple weeks, but I'm shooting two next week. One I'm really excited about, um, where my daughter wants to become a mechanic. And I'm not really on board with my daughter becoming a mechanic. So that'll be a fun one. Um, so Angela starts her new job tomorrow. Awesome, very exciting. Lily likes science encyclopedias. Um, how do you deal with friends? You guys have so many great questions left, but I have gone way over my hour of time if you put that last video with this video. So I'm sorry, but I got to get the kiddos fed and we got to get ready for church. So please come back next Sunday and I will answer your questions. You guys have been amazing. 
find each other in social media, support each other. Let this be like a community of people like-minded that help each other out. So if I didn't answer your question, bring it to me next Sunday. All right, bye y'all. Have a great day. Oh, wait, oh, wait, wait, wait. Timmy want, before we leave, Timmy just said, wait, wait, wait. What? Uh, no sponsored for today's live stream. I just oh. sponsored for like a few hours ago. Okay, so he said there's no sponsors for today's live stream because he fell asleep. Okay. So bye, y'all. Okay. <coughs> now we can say goodbye. <coughs> you want to say goodbye, Elijah? Yeah. Oh, say bye-bye. We love bye -bye. you. We, we love you. We'll see you next week. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, have a great day.